guys, Angelique Vestile here. In today's video, I will be talking about how to sell your art online and make money. So before I jump into the goods of the video, I just wanted to let you guys know the free workshop we have going on where we are giving out the exact strategy about how this 62 year old woman was able to make $160,000 in just 90 days. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you check out the link in my description. So back in the day, in terms of selling art, artists were pretty limited to places where they can sell their art. You would basically be looking at trying to get your artwork into a gallery, going to a creative show, an impromptu person to person meetup or even just in-person transactions nowadays with practically everything going online as an artist you have so much more platforms that you can use to your advantage when it comes to selling your art more and more it is becoming easier than ever to get your artwork into the hands of people wanting to decorate their spaces so in this video I will be covering some of the best places to sell your artwork online so you can make money now the first one is Etsy and I'm sure you've heard of it especially if you're a creative or an artist. Etsy launched in 2005 and basically became the main place online for artists to sell their artwork. Etsy's motto is shop for anything from creative people anywhere. And that basically covers everything they offer in terms of allowing creatives and artists to be able to sell their work online. They do charge a listing and transactional fee, but it's really, really easy to set up a shop on Etsy. Etsy also does a really great job at offering resources to their sellers, whether it's handbooks, to branding, to accounting. They really offer so much resources to allow their sellers to thrive. The next one is Amazon. And obviously I feel like everyone knows what Amazon is, but you might not know that Amazon really allows you to sell your artwork online. Amazon is obviously the largest online retailer there is, and they have different segments such as Amazon Handmade, which is made for people who create handcrafted art. They also have Amazon art which allows people to sell their art on Amazon. Their fees really are dependent on what you are trying to sell and essentially you'll need to go through an approval process to make sure your art is okay to be selling on Amazon. Depending on the specific artwork you are trying to sell, the fee ranges from 5% to 20% of the cost. The next one is Fine Art America. Fine Art America combines a more traditional gallery style model with extensive print-on-demand options. Whether you want to sell your original artwork or transform them into things like iPhone cases, t-shirts, canvases, and more, Fine Art America has all of those options. In terms of pricing, Fine Arts America sets a base price, then you set a markup, which essentially is the profit margin that you'd be able to keep as the artist. For digital downloads, you get to keep 100% of your asking price, and Fine Arts America asks you to add a 30% markup, which essentially they would keep as commission. So you get 100% of your asking price and then Fine Arts America essentially charges 30% on top of that, which they keep. Another option is creating your own Shopify store, which means essentially taking your artwork and your art business into your own hands by creating your own brand, your own website, where you house all of your artwork and basically anything creative that you sell and create your own marketplace for it. Shopify is one of the world's leading online e-commerce platforms and they make it really easy to build a customized website tailored to what you sell. When it comes to Shopify, your main cost would be the monthly subscription fee that it costs to own a Shopify website plus any transaction fees on specific products through PayPal or Stripe. They offer a 90 day free trial so you can basically get your website set up, see if owning your own website is worth it for your business and your brand. The next option is Gallery. So essentially Gallery tailors to true art enthusiasts that want to see their walls lined up with artwork. Gallery is committed to showing new and exciting art, so they go through a pretty intensive application process where you actually are charged a $5 application fee and they only choose to select up and coming, mid-level, and emerging artists. 
U Gallery's main goal is to recreate the high-end gallery feel, but on the online space. The next one is Society6. Society6 is one of the leading print-on-demand platforms. So essentially, if you want to see your artwork plastered across a variety of different products, from iPhone cases to wallpapers to technology to basically anything that you can print something on, Society6 has that option. To start selling on Society6, you'll essentially need to create your own account, and then from there you'll be able to choose which categories you want to feature your art on. You might have one design that looks great on a canvas, but it might not look good as a wallpaper or as a sofa. So you want to make sure that the patterns you are creating, the artwork you are creating, makes sense for the specific item that you are putting your artwork on. The biggest thing with Society6 is that artists only make 10% of the sale. However, there are other ways Ways you can make money through Society6 such as their affiliate program. Another print-on-demand powerhouse is Zazzle. Similar to Society6, Zazzle offers a variety of different products that you can put your art on, but unlike Society6, Zazzle allows you to actually set your own royalty rates, which essentially can help you earn more per sale. To become a Zazzle artist, you essentially just need to upload your artwork, choose your products, and then put them up for sale. You will then set your own royalty rates, which can range from 5% to 99%, and then Zazzle will custom adjust their price based on what you put as your royalty rate. The biggest thing with Zazzle is you don't want to set your royalty rates too high otherwise that price goes directly to your customer's cost so it's important to kind of play around with your royalty rate and see what rates work best for your artwork. Another platform is Minted which allows artists of all kinds from photographers to graphic designers to illustrators. Minted is one of the top known platforms for printing Christmas cards, greeting cards, birthday cards, holiday cards, and much more. You can then enter design competitions, which are voted on by the public. And in addition to receiving your own minted storefront, the winner of these competitions can earn a cash prize and earn commissions on their design. Another print-on-demand service is Redbubble that allows artists to upload their artwork and again, put it on a variety of different products. From stationery to stickers to apparel, you could pretty much print print your artwork on any product through Redbubble. So I hope that video helped kind of explain the online platforms and options you have as an artist to sell your artwork online and make money. Obviously there are a variety of other platforms out there, but I just wanted to cover a few just to give you guys some ideas of how possible it is to actually sell your artwork online instead of being at a physical gallery or in-person transaction. So I hope that video helped and if it did, and if you did enjoy this and you found it valuable, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post. Again, I know I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but if you're looking for ways to make money online, make sure you check out the free workshop in my description where we're giving out the exact strategy about how this 62-year-old woman was able to make $160,000 in just 90 days. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.